Alright guys, this video is going to be how to waterproof your Castle Creations Mamba Monster speed controller. So you're going to need a Mamba Monster, obviously. Now this is the HPI uh, Flux HP, but it's just a rebranded Mamba Monster. The reason I bought this one is because it came with the Dean's plugs on it already. Uh, you're going to need some liquid electrical tape, which you can get at pretty much any hardware store or Home Depot, those kind of places. The kitty wants to be on the video too, apparently. Yeah? Alright. And uh, <clears throat> you're also going to need a small screwdriver or something, because also this will void your warranty. So, if you uh, do this at your own risk, because you have to open the case, so it will void your warranty on your speed controller, you're going to have to take the sticker off. There's a sticker that goes all the way around here that prevents you from taking the case apart, so you have to take that off. Once you take that off, warranty is bye-bye. What? So... Basically, you're going to need to take your little screwdriver here and pop these little tabs in so you can get the bottom of the case off. So, I'm going to do that quick here. And you can just use your screwdriver to kind of get in between there, pop this off, and then see the bottom of the case just pops off like that, and you now have your electronics exposed. Now this will come right out. Of the plastic. You kind of have to push the power cables down in. You get the fan on top here. So there's your Mamba Monster taken apart. Now what you want to do is take your liquid electrical tape, obviously, and just coat the whole bottom. Make sure you get... You might actually want to take the, the fan plug out of the little receptacle there, and you just want to completely coat everything in liquid electrical tape. You want to get around <clears throat> sorry about this. You can see along here, the edge here. You want to get around the capacitors here. Pretty much cover completely coat everything with electrical liquid electrical tape except for the heat sink. You want to leave the heat sink metal because that's what dissipates the heat obviously now you can get up on the side here you know make sure you get everything covered and I also cover the outside of these connectors and get back up in there if you get some on the side of the heat sink it's not a big deal you can scrape it off after it dries but completely cover everything as best as possible try to get in between the capacitors get around the connections here just cover that sucker in liquid electrical tape so I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done alright so I've started to do the top side here you can see I've done my best to get all around the motor terminals get along the edge there where the heat sink is try to get in between the caps there 
as best as you can all along the edge if you get again if you get some on the heat sink or on the outside edge it's just not a big deal plus you can get it off later with a hobby knife or something but basically try to get that liquid electrical tape you want to basically create like a solid rubber jacket around everything that seals up against the bottom edge of the heat sink so that no water can get in so that's coat one I might top is looking pretty good definitely gonna need another coat on the bottom there I mean better safe than sorry as long as you can fit it back in the case pile that stuff up on there the more the more the better pretty much so I'm gonna let this dry again and uh, I'll come back when I'm all finished all right so you can see now I have it completely slathered in liquid electrical tape get a nice after a couple of uh, coats I got a nice thick layer all the way around all around the uh, motor terminals around the caps as best as I could get it along the edge there of the uh, heat sink so that's pretty much it I'm gonna let it dry make sure there's no holes anywhere and then uh, you know scrape the excess off probably the side of the caps there and and the little bit I got on the heat sink and then you just put her back together so I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll show you when I get it ready to put back together okay so I got her all covered pretty good here so now all you gotta do is put it back together so fan goes through here playable side down sits right on top of the heat sink and then you just put her back in you may need to wiggle the fan around a little bit in here to get it back in the slot right Once you get her in the slot, and once you get the fan up where it goes, this will just slide right back in there. And you just take your case, make sure your wires. I got a little spot there. Do one more little extra dab where the wires come out here. All that wiggling around. So make sure your wires are back in the little notch that they go in. Make sure all your little tabs are bent straight again. And then you just pop your cover back on. There we go. There, she's in there good now. Alright. And that's it. There you have it. One waterproof Mamba Monster. 
I've driven in Wisconsin snow for two years before I torched my last one, which was probably my own fault for not taking it apart this year and making sure everything was still good in there. Um, I drove my truck into a creek on accident and not fried it. I have drove through water puddles up over the tires and this lasted me for two years of driving through water and snow and everything was was fine. So um, if you want additional waterproofing you can maybe build a box to go around this. The main thing is you need to have airflow. So I might build some kind of little shield to go over the top of this maybe to keep stuff from falling into it because that's where I think I had a problem last time was I think water got through the fan and went and somehow got down in by the capacitors probably through here it might even be a good idea to take some more liquid electric tape and go around here but uh... that's about it